The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. It's time for a crunch or two. It's time for a little something something. It's time for the Snack Authority. The Snack Authority. The authority on snacks. Snacks of all kinds. From the most common and wildly famous to the most obscure and unknown. The Snack Authority. Snacking all the time so you don't have to. Good morning and welcome to the Snack Authority, broadcasting live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. The Snack Authority is a weekly podcast where we dig into the history, taste, and flavor of local snacks, national favorites, and bizarre international treats. Today, we are going to not be doing head-to-head, but my panel of experts, Dave. Hello. Hi. Mikey. Hello. Hi there. And Ed. I'm here. Are going to be doing um, another product tasting right it's a new product tasting but there are three flavors so we could pick our favorite flavor or we could yeah that's so personal rate them all (laughs) we're not trying to get you personal it's very personal well i mean you know i could just not like a particular flavor right yeah like honey barbecue for example just don't like it Right. No, but I might love, for example, the nacho. Yeah. And then I think it would throw off the ratings if all of a sudden I came in with a low one on honey barbecue. Because you just don't right. like the flavor of that. Yeah. Every- we all, I think we all like the product itself. Now it's going to be the flavors. So let's figure out which flavor we like the best. All and right. then if it's all different, then we'll go from Is it there. a winning the, new product? Because yeah. this is just, brand new. Right. I mean, yeah. a lot of people probably haven't tried these yet. I mean... They just have three chances to impress us, which I'm pretty happy is, about. Is it a limited release, meaning uh, it's only out for a little time, or is this no. a new flavor and it continues no, to go on? It's supposed to continue to go on, right. but I think like all things, it'll mm. depend Based on, on how well it sells. sells yeah. right. You know, it was announced back in October for January 2019 availability. I think I saw it, I mentioned on the show, I think even last month, so I think they were ahead of schedule in their release. So I think if someone's listening right now, they're very confused because they have no idea the the product itself. We haven't mentioned what it is. This is building the suspense date. That's what we do. (laughs) So obviously it's pizza. No. (laughs) Mix them all together. It might taste like a pizza. Don't threaten me with a good time. Yeah. You know, my take on it is it's, and we'll know once we taste it, but it's a new twist on the goldfish. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's um, tortilla. So it's corn-based. Hopefully corn is one of the main ingredients there. It's whole grain yellow corn flour is the first ingredient on all three. So I'm assuming it, I mean, it says tortilla crunch. I just assumed it meant it was crunchy like a tortilla. No, I think it's more crunchy than a regular goldfish. Well, you'll be the judge. Yes, we will be the judge. Kind of. So, I mean, it's pretty excited. They're, They're... they have goldfish baked tortilla snacks on the top, which they usually say baked what snacks on the top of goldfish? Baked delicious snacks? Baked cheese, baked cheese cheddar? snacks. Cheddar, oh, cheddar, cheddar cheese snacks. snacks. Cheddar. So they even changed inside the logo of goldfish to say tortilla snacks and then epic crunch. I mean. Yeah, so it should be more crunchy. It's epic. Let's see. Is it All epic? Right. Let's see. This is, I mean, when you look at the colors, though, just before we even open it. Nacho cheese flavor. Everything that's nacho cheese flavor is in a red bag, or is this on purpose? No, it's like they're trying to go after gold uh, Doritos. Yeah, yeah. The colors are lining up. All right, so that would be competing against the Dorito. It sure looks that are way. Are they two right? different companies? Uh, I believe so. Goldfish is Pepperidge Farm, isn't it? Goldfish is Pepperidge mm-hmm. Farm, which is a division of Campbell Soup Company. Yeah. So, so I see a red bag there, and I mm-hmm. think spicy, right? You yeah, think nacho? Yeah, I think zippy. It one's blue, and I would say cool, cool ranch. Yeah, mm-hmm. right for two. There we go. And the other one's purple. What would purple be? Happiness. Grape. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's honey barbecue. Purple. Grape goldfish. Yeah. yeah. So honey barbecue, I wouldn't put in purple. Probably make Whoa. It a little bit yellowish bag. Yeah. These are huge. Are they it huge? Says on it. These are these are really big goldfish. I actually am pretty pumped about this. Bigger crunch. So, so it's more like, what do they call those? Koi fish. Oh, I ah. lost one. One, one slipped the river. One got away. 
If you got a way. There we we got go. a runner. So, so these ones they are, are big. bigger. They're bigger than the yeah, regular goldfish. Fluffy. I don't know about huge. I'd say, I'd say they're maybe twice the size. They're Deep. probably just filled with air. I don't know. They, they look really big to me. And I like how on the back, thank you, Pepperidge Farm, there's actually um, pinch and pull. It shows you how to open your goldfish in case you can't, can't get them. Ah, you're, you're opening like the old-fashioned cardboard milk cartons. Yeah. Mm. So cool. It makes them more pourable, I yes. guess. I'm going to level with you right now. This smells like straight up ranch dressing. And I do not like the smell of ranch dressing. I'm saying that so that you, you won't be able to judge that. It wouldn't be I fair. I will be. Bag what if I like the, the taste? I'll eat anything. It's just, well, I'm not how would eat, you, like, bugs How would you anything. guys like some schooling on goldfish? Oh, well I would played. like some, yeah. some schooling, yes. <laughs> Give us some schooling on goldfish. So as you probably know, goldfish are fish-shaped cheese crackers. And as I mentioned, manufactured by Pepperidge Farm, a division of the Campbell Soup Company. And these are nice in soup, I think. You know, a little these bit of goldfish. Yeah, they, they can, float. They can swim around a tomato sea. Yeah. Oh, that's a visual. French. The goldfish were originally invented by Oscar J. Cambly at Swiss Biscuit. Swiss Biscuit. Mm. And that was in 1958. All the, right. The so these go way back. So we're talking earlier this morning, and I said, I wonder if the... The fish had something to do with, in the 50s, people used to eat goldfish, real goldfish, swimming around goldfish. It was a thing, or whatever, a maybe thing. A, 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 a college thing. A fraternity thing. Yeah, college thing and stuff. And they'd have, I said, I wonder if that has anything to do with it. And you're telling me 1958, this guy came out with it? Uh, Coincidence? I think not. I think you may be on to something. We, we got I have lost a goldfish. That's all right. Um, He'll turn up. I have no doubt. They're wily little things. We'll, we'll, Pick we'll, it up after we'll print some flyers. We'll hang them on the thing. Goldfish <laughs> missing. Can we put them on a milk carton? <laughs> yeah. So in the UK, they're sold under the name Finns. Yeah? F-I-N-Z. Ooh, huh. I like the Z. But the product is identical. Okay. All right. Oh, they're all different colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we'll know what's what. And... Did you know that goldfish noodles can be found in Campbell's chicken noodle tomato and meatball soup? Explain that. They're noodles that are shaped like goldfish. Oh, that's cute. Which is, cute. I guess, a, a product crossover because they're both owned by Campbell's. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard of that soup. So just like the, the macaroni itself is a it's goldfish a fish. shaped? Yeah. And it's swimming in the soup? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> a little subliminal messaging? Yeah. In... 1999, Pepperidge Farm won a court case involving Nabisco's Cheese Nips Cat Dog Crackers that had fish-shaped crackers that resembled the goldfish. The court ordered Nabisco to refrain from using the goldfish shape and recall their products. Yeah, everybody goes, they, each company goes after the other one on a product that's come on. Everything. Like Coke and Polar. Coke and Polar. Mm, Coke was using the, the polar bear? And Polar's like, no, that's our mascot. You can't. Right. Those commercials were really cute, though, for, like, the Christmas Cokes. Yeah. Uh-oh, I hear crunching. These are crunchy, I think. All right, we're in. Oh, wow. They're epic crunch. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a loud one, folks. Enjoy it. <laughs> okay. I like that. That's a nacho one. It's not, it doesn't really have a very intense kind of nacho -y flavor. I don't think any of them are intense. No, not really. They're subtles. Tastes like a diet food. <laughs> well. Ranch is different. The, um, a lot of little kids eat goldfish, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't think they want an intense mm. flavor. They're subtle. Mm. I mean, I don't think these are going to be going after kids anymore. Well. I mean, I think they're trying to get a more... I think you they're know, going after Doritos people. They do have their flavor blasted varieties, mm -hmm. which gives you a, a more intense flavor. Which one is which here? Nacho. This ranch. is the red? Mm hmm. That's barbecue. We could go red, orange, and yellow. Red, orange, yellow? <laughs> well, I mean, just based on the color they oh. are, not but, their bags. Yeah. But the one that looks the most red is from the red bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that'll be easy. Purple bag looks kind of like a less intense version of that. Lightly browned. 
they and make then the ranch looks like those that are listening which is all of you so listening you, you're hearing <laughs> you're hearing the crunch right i mean it's these are crunchy that's for sure I feel, I feel like people enjoy our crunches some do some don't like if sorry we, ma'am if we sat on the panel deciding what the name of this is okay what do you want to call it this new goldfish crunch maybe it yeah. has to be yeah but the crunch is epic I mean, this is not a stealth snack. If you don't want to share these, don't eat them in a house with anybody else in it because everybody's going to hear you. Yeah. Well, you have to let them melt in your mouth, which could take quite a while. I have mm. to do that with my dog. <laughs> stealth eat. I like, eat quietly or else she comes running in and I got to give it to him. That's funny. Yeah, my dog reacts to just hearing packaging. Yeah. Being, you know, so you just go to get bread even and right. he's oh, yeah. right there. I do too. <laughs> My wife opens the refrigerator. I'm like, what? <laughs> um, what are you getting? You know that goldfish can go swim in different directions like the graham cracker ones. They mm -hmm. have flavor blasted grams. I haven't tried them, but I think I've heard of them. Yeah, those are not cheesy. They're chocolatey or vanilla, s'mores, mm -hmm. French toast. Hmm, really? I mean, there are loads of goldfish varieties. I didn't. I didn't know half of those existed. Yeah, I mean, at some point, I think you can end up with uh, too many products, right? Because supermarkets have limited shelf space, so they have to make decisions about what they're going to carry. You know, in the regular flavors, they do have explosive pizza. Explosive pizza? Is that in the regular line? Mm-hmm. Okay. They have blasted atomic barbecue. Okay. Cheeseburger. I mac and cheese. That. Extreme zingy chili lime. I mean, there's a bazillion flavors. Zingy <laughs> chili lime does sound pretty good. Yeah. Cheeseburger sounds pretty good, but of course it's going to taste like pickle. But I'm I would agree with you that um, because they're marketed... To kids, I think, I can't find any flavors that have enough spice even, right? Mm. I mean, they used to have, um, I think it's a discontinued flavor now, which was a jalapeno flavor. Like spice, like remember the limited release Kettle One jalapeno? It tasted like a raw pepper. Mm. That was unusual. Would, would, do you even... Does it even say if they were like spicy, tasty jalapeno or raw jalapeno? It does not give an indication. Okay. Well, they do still have extreme screaming hot, which I haven't seen. I've <laughs> never seen those. Do you dip these? Would, would this be something you'd have a dip? I, I would know. dip because it. You need. Honestly, you need something. I mean, the flavor is just. It's not there. This really is almost am. like eating air. The tail of it is the good holding pot, mm -hmm. and then you got a little spade that you could go for the dip. Kind of small for a dip chip, though. But no? Small, but a, gold, a regular goldfish is so small, there's no way, right? Yeah. Look at the smaller ones now. They got the babies. Yes, they do. Baby goldfish. Oh, Those are definitely cute. not for kids. That's a major choking hazard. <laughs> <laughs> I would not give that to a kid. Although, the one issue I have is that often with the tortilla chips, they go with salsa. These guys, you couldn't scoop in no. salsa. No, you could. Not salsa sure you, could. you could just dip it. It'd be more a dip, right? You couldn't do a scoop. Mm -mm. No, you have to emulsify the salsa so you could use it with these. Right. <laughs> it's like picking up a chunk of tomato on one of those suckers. They're just, it's, I keep eating them. So it's not that I don't like them, but I don't taste much i think i keep going for more because they feel good they have this really great crunch they have a lot of airspace so it's satisfying it's like those dorito 3d awesome crunch harder. yeah that's the word you Epic. like that crunchy uh snack yeah. this is it for sure how many can i have you can have a whole bag as for 130 as calories a whole school of fish <laughs> actually technically probably I don't know how many fish are in a school, but in the school of one serving size, there are 26 pieces. Hmm. So that's a respectable uh, snack size. The calories would be 130. Sodium is a little terrifying at 230 milligrams. There's probably a lot of flavoring, though. 
I mean, it is. These all have slightly different flavoring, but they're the exact same thing. They're the same price, they're the same calorie count. I don't know if that was on purpose or a happy coincidence, but you can mix all three of these together and just play goldfish roulette. Which one will I taste? Mm. Mm, that's the problem. They don't have a lot of flavor. Well, I was unable to find crunchy. a commercial for this particular product, but we need yeah. a commercial, so Agreed. I went with an older Pepperidge Farm commercial. Well, it says 2003, so that's a while ago. Yeah. I was in high school. Here's our jingle for goldfish. Those baked and not fried goldfish. A wholesome snack that smiles back until you bite their heads off. You see the fish is swimming. Oh, look, the pretzel's winning. Didn't that make you feel good about goldfish? You know they're made with real cheese, even though they look like fishies. A snack that smiles back at goldfish. Now cheddar goldfish come in colors, so don't adjust your TV. you love new goldfish colors. It's a happy snack. They smile back till you bite their head off. Mm, I love like that. that. <laughs> I like that he said it's super sweet. But I forgot they had pretzel ones. Oh, yeah. I forgot they had pretzel, so... <clears throat> so are these baked and not fried also? Yep. Mm-hmm. These are a baked whole grain snack. That makes them good for you. I highly mm -hmm. doubt it. Right. I highly doubt it. I mean, there is 2% of your daily value of iron in it, 4% of your daily calcium, and 2% of your potassium. I don't so, yeah. I don't think you can uh, push it as health food, Jess. I'm working on it, man. <laughs> All right, so. I don't know. You guys oh, keep crunching, no. and I'll up my volume to be heard above the crunch, okay. and we'll do some snack news of the week. Ready. Okay, there's an unconfirmed internet rumor that Oreo is coming out with a new flavor. We can only hope it's not true. I oh. heard about the red velvet. Well... If you want to know what it is, think of the worst flavor of Jelly Belly Jelly Bean. Popcorn. Exactly. Oh, yeah. no. That's right. It's well the done. butter popcorn flavor. <laughs> so, Keith loves those, though. I could only find one reference to it, although I think um, I had seen somebody reviewed every Oreo flavor that's ever been out. I think there were 62. Is that, wow. that is a lucky human being. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. And I think there was a caramel kettle corn flavor at one point, which that could be okay, mm -hmm. but it's still, it's an Oreo, you know? I like the regular one the best. Mm. Uh, Not even the double stuff. No, the just regular, regular one. I Coconut think they nailed thins. it right off the bat. Coconut thins? Coconut thins. I kid you not, they're the tastiest thing in all of creation. They're a problem. I haven't done it yet. We're gonna. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's a story. Ready? A, a snack technology story. Mm. Mm. Snack robots. What? Excuse me? Yeah. PepsiCo unveiled a snack bot at the University of the Pacific in Stockton, California. The company said it's the first time a major food and beverage company has rolled out a delivery robot. Oh, okay. All right. I get it now. PepsiCo's Hello Goodness provides the delivery robots with a wide range of snacks, including items such as Sun Chips, Starbucks <coughs> Cold Brew. So using an app, the students can order snacks between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. to be delivered to 50 different locations on campus. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.? That's not when you want That's them. That's not prime You want them hours. after <laughs> 5 p.m. If you were to pick prime time snacking, it happens after 7. Right. And maybe they'll expand it because... Uh, these robots weigh 80 pounds, they're three feet tall, but they're equipped with cameras and headlights. So they should be able to navigate at night. Yeah. I think right now, the 9 a.m. to 5 is more about having the support staff until they work all the kinks out of these Seven robots. to midnight is prime time snacking seat uh, time. Yeah. Just ask the snack authority. There is nothing about this that should be comfortable to anybody here. Delivery of snacks? By a robot? Are you kidding me? Has anybody seen Terminator? <laughs> <laughs> you think the snack robots are going to get out of control? They're holding what I want. They're watching me with a camera, and they could... So, I can't pick them so up. So not even a delivery system, but they're probably 
they have the product on them at all times. Like a vending mm-hmm. machine. They're a vending, it's a, yeah. Hmm. It's, a, it's a mobile vending machine. Yeah. Huh. I'm interested. Yeah, it could. It, oh, you've been home some nights and you say, let's see what we got for snacks. And you look in there and you say, oh my God, we got. I'm not eating saltine crackers. <laughs> What do you got here? There's nothing well, left. For a wider delivery area, how about snack drones? Oh, no. Mm. You know, we could have our warehouse and you just give then it to the drone. And yeah, then you'd have to actually pick exactly what. But I like the idea of almost the milkman type of thing or the ice cream truck that comes around that this snack robot walks through my neighborhood every night about 8 o'clock. And he's ready to go. Now I'm just picturing a regular vending machine on yeah. tracks. You right. Know, moving around. Fine. I'm going to level with you. There's a, the, I, this is hot fear. This is what hot fear looks like. Do you know how terrible that would be? I could go for a snack. Alexa hears me, sends over a robot with snacks. I would probably cry and or wet my pants. <laughs> Hmm. I bet you the sales would be unbelievable because you're talking about, I, no, I don't want a snack. It's like, hey, want ice cream? No, I'm all set. Ding, 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 ding when I was a kid. <laughs> ice cream! Oh, my God, you freak out. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing would have a sound, crunch. It's <laughs> a sound. Please don't say, make me oh, my God, the crunch <laughs> machine's here. <laughs> it's coming through the neighborhood. I'm so sorry. I'm yeah. guinea pig laughing. <laughs> And all the people will be coming right up, running out. You get to know your neighbors again like the old days. I know my neighbors. Okay. You know your neighbors? I know I mean, all my neighbors. <clears throat> Lyft has automated cars in New York that they've been testing out. No drivers in the suckers. How long before that it gets picked up by like a major delivery chain for food? All right. I have exactly one left of each. Huh. I like the salt. I do feel like my mouth is now feeling the fact that I've had a lot of crunchy, very salty products. Yeah. But I, as disgusting as it is, I want to try them all together. Hmm. Because I feel like these are such mild flavors. Why not? Right? Huh. You're going to make... A school of fish. A fish sandwich? Uh, yeah. I can't do it. Too, too big? I can't fit them in my mouth. How sad is that? Mikey, can you make it happen? Yeah. Any improvement? Any less flavorful? There is a lot of money. I mean, it, it's subtle, but you can taste mm-hmm. the honey in the honey. You can taste the nacho in the nacho. Mm-hmm. But if you look on the back. You can taste the ranch. Yeah. They I are mean, subtle. Though. All their flavors but. are technically dips. Is that weird? All, all their right. flavors are dips. Like you dip things in barbecue sauce. You dip things in nacho cheese. You dip things in ranch. <clears throat> Where to be completely honest with you, I think these are all the exact same cracker. The only thing is they just dust it with something. Right. Yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. The f- with, with, the, with the flavor. So, first off, do you like them? Yeah, I dig them. I like the snack. I think the flavor could be amped up a little more, but they are good. I like the crunch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Better than a regular cracker. Don't I think it's a step up from a, I don't want to say boring, because mm-hmm. I like a goldfish as much as anybody else, yeah. but there's not enough meat in a goldfish, right? Right, because they're little, they're flat. Yeah. Even though these are hollowed out also. Yeah, but it's, the corn's more dense. Yeah. Because I was worried about it. I didn't know what these were going to be like. I thought it was be chipping teeth on these things, but mm. it's not happening. Because, you know, when you bite into a tortilla chip, it's thin, but it's hard. They did a good job. Yes, they did. Um, hereby going to take an epic crunch. Um, what's this one called? This one's nacho. Nacho and not have a Dorito. There's Doritos no. and no. there's this and take the is this gonna hurt Dorito? No. No. Doritos have a lot more flavor going on. <clears throat> Doritos are their own special obsession worthy snack. The only place I could see these working better than Doritos is at a party. It's a lot easier to get a bunch of these and there's a bunch of Doritos. You solve the problem of being coated in snack. I mean, at a party. I know, but when you go to a bowl at Doritos, you're only grabbing like four or five. You're constantly just hanging over oh, the bowl. Yeah. These you can grab a freaking handful and just walk off. It's going to be more of a social snack because it's easier to be mobile with it. Handle. Because you can handle more. They're interesting. I like, I like the idea <clears throat> of their product. I like the way that it feels. It's just not... There's not if you were having a party, you'd, you'd get this instead of the Dorito? If I the, w- put it in the bowl? No. No? If I was having like a little mermaid party, maybe. No, I probably wouldn't because you're going to need a lot of those to fill a bowl. That's but true. as far as mobility goes, I think it'd be more, much more mobile than. Wow, these were very inexpensive too. 
They were two fifty no. a bag. It looks like, unless they got them on sale. They but. were a dollar fifty. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Unbelievable, good for. Mm. These are these are a great product. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, but if they are going after Dorito, it, it's not. It's not gonna work. It's gonna go for more of a younger demographic. Like Doritos are for everybody. Kids love them. Adults love them. These ones, kids would be like, "Oh, it's a fish. It's so cool." Because yeah. I love cool fish. Um. I could test it. I could give Kelsey these and Doritos because I know she loves her Doritos. See what happens. I think you should. She probably think these are kind of boring. But I can test them on Tony, but he's probably listening and I'll know I'm testing him. <laughs> <laughs> well, which one do you like the best of the three flavors? I would say the one with the strongest flavor would be the ranch. I'm not usually, I don't usually go for ranch right away, but this one had the strongest flavor for me. All ranch. right. So you have just picks ranch. ranch. I'm going to go honey barbecue. I like the sweet and salty. Well, I am the uh, the other one, the Dorito. Old Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. As am I. Maybe it's an old people thing. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't so, know. So it's awesome that um, we have all three because we were talking and said, how do we rate this with a number? And if to somebody didn't like any of the flavors, and I'll tell you this. I did not not like any of them. Exactly. They're all good. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with any of them. Um, but I would go to nacho, to honey, to mm -hmm. ranch third. Yeah. Uh, we are always the opposite of me. I know. Yeah, <laughs> not it always, is, so. but yeah. Um, so um, I'm not the craziest um, Dorito fan, to be honest with you. And I'm picking... Um, the nacho. nacho um, it, it, Doritos isn't a go-to for me. Mm. Probably because it's too powerful. Oh. It's too much. Yeah, it's right. very flavorful. Um, so I like this a lot. And uh, Would you buy them again? I'll buy them again, and I won't buy Doritos. I'd buy this over Doritos because I'm not a Doritos guy. Some people aren't. Yeah. I'm wrong they, with they're that. too overpowering. I guarantee you these are probably a lot lower in sodium than Doritos. I have a um, very... Um, a live palate. I can taste mm -hmm. a lot of things. So w when anything's overpowering of anything, it's just too much for me. Yeah. And, right. Uh, like I'd want to dust a Dorito off. This is too much on there. Yeah. I'd give you five dollars if you could completely dust off a yeah. Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be nothing left. It's probably better than that Cortia. Uh, I'd give this for myself ninety-two rating. Ninety-two. I will buy it again. That would be the flavor for me. Um, I wouldn't buy the ranch. Uh, I'm not a ranch person because it's just yeah. I'm not a ranch person. And I, it was very interesting on the uh, honey barbecue one what? that because I'm not a barbecue chip person either, but the honey mm -hmm. was bright. I could taste it, mm -hmm. and that was good. So yeah, that's you get right more of a salt back note than you do a barbecue back note. So my 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 one uh, rating is going to be on the. Nacho at a 92 of 100. Okay, so you're rating one product. I'm rating the one I want, the one I like. The ranch? Uh, I, I'm sad to say this, but I, I would give it a 90. It's not a bad snack. I would never good. say no to it. Um, but honestly, it's not gonna it's not gonna crack any higher than a 90 for me on any of them, but I like the product. I like the inventiveness of it, and I'm never gonna say no to it. Unfortunately, this is going to probably be the lowest rating I've ever given a snack in my own mind. I'm going to have to give it an 89. Mm. Just because they don't have enough flavor for me. I have a snack. I want to know what the hell I'm eating. So if I mix these all up, I probably wouldn't be able to tell you which was which. Oh, gosh. I didn't even think of that. You probably wouldn't. You know? I mean, yeah, you got a little bit of ranch here, a little bit of barbecue. Yeah. I, I they, they seem very distinct to me. Yeah. There's just not enough flavor. Wait, maybe the younger palates have been killed by all this intense flavor. Intense, right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I would... Give the nacho a 91. Mm. You know, I think I really like the crunch for me. <clears throat> it's a really good crunch, and it's not like some of the other products that turn into shards <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> you know, so texture and crunch is important to me. Okay, so the bad. only one that, that was a double in there is going to be... There's no double. The, the nacho, yep. Oh, yeah, the nacho snack. We can't even do an 92 average. 92 and 91. The average is 91 and a half. We'll go with 91 because it doesn't yeah. reach 92. So it's a 91 on the Epic Crunch Nacho. It is a 
90 on the ranch. 90 on the ranch. And, and an 89 on the honey barbecue. There we go. And, you know, I think it's a it's a good product, but I'm not sure of the positioning, right? Because if you want a tortilla chip, this is not what you're going to no. go for. No. no. So I think it's another option in the goldfish family for somebody who might want something crunchier in yeah. the shape of a fish. Mm-hmm. These yeah. are much more crunchier than a regular goldfish. Oh, yeah. Who, what else yeah. would it compete against? It's not a cracker. Yeah. They used to go against like those like the new puff things they came out with, you know. Not even those. Those aren't those aren't this hard. These these yeah. have almost like a meaty crunch to them. It's like they're a. Thicker. I love the crunch. I like the whole yeah. idea of the yeah. crunch. It you know what this crunch reminds me of? A wheat thin. Ah, all right. Wow. A wheat thin is what this crunch reminds me of. The only difference is the wheat thins aren't airy. Yeah. Mm. I do like wheat thins. <laughs> All right. I think we've got our answers. We did it. If you guys have an idea for a snack we should dig into, an idea of what to pair against each other, please let us know. Contact us at thesnackauthority at gmail.com. Please let your snack eating friends know about us. Share us. Subscribe to us. Give us a five-star rating because we like those. Uh, I'm Jess. <laughs> this is Dave, our Mikey, yes. and our Ed. We all want to say thank you for snacking along with us. Have a good night. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.